and welcome back to another episode of your last wave and see in the video. Well, uh, today we have this comment here by one of our comment curators. Let's check it out. All right, well, I actually like this, uh, this build here because it's apparently going to rely a lot on the centaurs and I really do love the centaurs. The centaurs are honestly kind of underutilized in my opinion. It's a great missile launcher and well I, I know it's a bit heavy but that's kind of what this AC apparently is going to be addressing. It's going to be a very fast AC but once the missiles are still uh, attached it's going to be very slow so it's a, a nice way of switching gears pretty much. But let's go and build it because I'm actually very excited to see how well this is going to perform right now. See you guys when I'm done building this. Okay, so here we have the AC Solomon, and hey, I guess we're going to Solomon's store. Nah. Okay, sorry for that joke. Though I did want to quickly mention a little typo you made. So by the colors there, you went with all the color cords. <laughs> oh, the joints, the red color of the joints on the legs, that can go to 1600. <laughs> okay, but it was very, very, very obvious it was meant to be 160. But okay, uh, the design-wise, I really think it looks neat. I really like the, the shade of blue you used, by the way, the very light blue there. I think that looks really neat there. Um, wise weapons, I'm not entirely sure if I will agree on with this here, but it still looks very neat. However, I think it's time for us to go and test this out, so let's quickly see its performance. Alright, so what's the speed without uh, dropping the... holy hell! Okay, so even with the heavy-ass Centaur and RM3 still on the AC, it's still 378 kilometers per hour. That is very good. Uh, clearly, the energy drain is quite a bit taxing, and also the heat is quite a bit taxing as well. But okay, let's just assume that I've already finished shooting this and this. How fast am I now? 400? Wow, that is very fast. Okay, well, uh, good. But now is my issue here. No, not really issue. How is the Rock 4 gonna... Oh, okay, that's not gonna be an issue. Never mind, I thought it would maybe uh, would make this a bit hard because how quickly the generator drains. But, you know, nah, this is fine. This is fine. There's no real issue with this uh, build here so far. So, fly up here. I can even shoot a few times and... Yeah, okay, this is fine. This is totally fine. I, uh, like this. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to really add to this. So I think it's time to go fight the test AC. Short range arena, so I'll try my best with the centaurs. Okay, so... There, and now I will use my handgun while I also fire missiles like that. That is actually very freaking useful because look, how you did this is you made sure that I can shoot a handgun while I am shooting. Oh my god, that damage output. Okay, I didn't even have a chance to finish my sentence there. Hang on, in that case, no cutting out. I'm gonna continue talking. So what I wanted to say is you you made sure that I could continue shooting my pistol while I shoot my missiles, and then if I manage to run out of ammo on my pistol, I still have a backup pistol in my hanger, specifically for the left hand, because the right hand doesn't have a hanger. Because honestly, with the goal of this AC, that is not what you were trying to do. You want to make sure it stays light, and another... A uh, pistol or any, something in the right hanger would just be dead weight, at least in my opinion. Okay, so we had to fight Cerberus Garm, so there, Cerberus Garm. Ask for the level, uh, you didn't say anything about the level, so I'll just click random. Uh, okay, this level, that's not too bad, I can totally work with that. So, turn on the extension, and how about we, wait, where is she? Well, where is he? Oh, there! He is still in the back there? Dude, <laughs> at least try to close the gap, man. Okay, uh, 
just, oh, well, that clearly went against the pillar there. Well, can you stop hiding behind the pillar? Okay, there we go. I'm hitting with pistol shots. I'm, uh, well, I'm not entirely sure if the, if the missiles are actually hitting. I feel like they're all pretty much missing. Okay, well, whatever, whatever. We still have the rock four if uh, need be. Okay, so uh, drop that, drop those, and it's time to go fight him head on. Though I think that the level here was really holding me back because I don't think any of the, the vertical missiles hit him there. <laughs> Well, the thing is, I still have a rock for it, and if you have to rely on a rock for it, that is a very luxurious uh, problem to have. So, there. Look, already dead. That's what I'm talking about. But I kind of feel very shafted regarding the idea that I didn't get to use the missiles as intended. Alright, next up would be Crow. I think that would be very interesting. Uh, again, random arena, so I don't know if it's gonna be something that's very missile friendly or it's gonna be another case like the last rounds. Oh, that's very missile friendly. Alright, so switch my weapon and time for us to try and start shooting there and also keep shooting with the, the pistol as well to make sure that I just keep firing like that. Uh, I know that it's, this is not the optimal uh, uh, distance to shoot those missiles because I know the missiles need a bit of way, uh, uh, a bit of distance to optimally found, fall, fall down. However, I think that the, with my pistol shooting there and all of that, I think this was the... Wow. Dude, I didn't even need to use my Rock 4 there. Damn, Chrome, I'm a bit disappointed in you, this, uh, Crow. You're, you're supposed to be very hard and rough. <laughs> now, this is, I think, going to be the more interesting fight, Damon. So, is he going to be able to dodge all the missiles and all of that and make me uh, use my rock for it? We shall see. But as of this moment, it is very much looking like the centaurs are going to do some massive damage. All right, well, switching weapon, turning on the extension, and time for us to go fire. And I made sure to go left there because I wanted to make sure that I actually uh, wouldn't hit that little upside down pyramid there. Okay, I uh, managed to hit him quite a bit there already. I need to make sure that I don't lose my momentum here. So, oh, no, 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 that was bad. That was absolutely bad. I should not have done that. I should have waited there patiently. And like that, like that. That was uh, what I should have been doing, but I didn't. Uh, this isn't going to... Whoa, whoa, look at that damage there. Okay, uh, drop that, drop that, and it's time for us to go and use our Rock 4 and Pistol combo. Though the pistols are about to run out of ammo. Oh my god, I didn't even run out of ammo on the pistol there. Damn, this is one hell of an AC, man. Jeez. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, color me impressed, that was one hell of an AC. I always know that the Centaur Missile Launcher is good, but Jesus, did you optimize it really well for this AC. This AC is really finely tuned with its speed, defenses, all of that, the stability. I think it's a very, very good AC to, to uh, mimic if you want to try a build like this yourself. Seriously, I would, I would recommend this. Great AC, I enjoyed playing it. Um, as for the look, uh, I, I like the color, like I already stated, the light blue, and I like the way it is presented, but I'm not, my, I myself, I'm not a fan of the combination of colors. Again, it's not ugly, it's just not my personal taste. But hey, in the end, it was a fantastic AC, and I hope everybody else enjoyed it as well. Well, hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall see you guys in the next episode.